Hi everyone, this is Miss Smith and we're going to do an activity hunting for letters and words. So before you do this activity, you can think about what you want your child to work on right now. If they still need to practice some letters, you could do letters or if you think they've mastered all their letters, they can move on to doing some sight words. We'll talk a little bit about what those are. Um, you could do uppercase letters if they're working on uppercase letters, lowercase letters, whatever you feel your child should work on. So, the idea is to make it fun. So you pick a few letters that you want your child to find. You could even have a paper for your child and one for you so that you can each be looking for letters and make it a competition. So I just picked three letters on here to find J, F, and D. You could look around your house, things with labels. I found some stuff in my refrigerator, my pantry, some markers in my daughter's Easter basket. Um, or you could look for letters in books. So if you're looking for Letters, you might want to choose a shorter book. I chose a board book here that has um, only a few words on each page, so it'll be a little bit easier to look for the letters. And the idea is you hunt around the house and make tally marks each time you find a letter. So this is also a good time to practice tallies. So every time you find five, you cross it and start a new group of lines. Or you can write numbers. Kids can write dots or check marks for each time they find the letter. But the idea is they're searching for these specific letters and counting how many they have. If you want to move on to sight words, um, there's something called the Dolch List of Sight Words. These are words, they were actually published in the early 1900s, so a really long time ago, that are common in reading and they're the words they felt at the time and they're still pretty applicable now that kids need to learn to read. So um, the first list is the pre-primer list and that is where we would start. I linked in the description a website for you so you can pick what words you want from each list. The website actually has print printable flashcards, so you're welcome to print them out and practice all the words that you want to do. Um, like I said, there's a lot in each list though, so if you start with pre-primer, you might want to spend a while on that because there's a lot of words even just in that one list. So having said that, um, if you're going to look for words for this hunt, you might want to have a bigger book to look through with more words on each page um, just to challenge them a little bit so they're searching for the words. You can still search for the words around the house. Sight words might not be as common on like food labels and things like that but um, looking through books is great, looking through games, food labels like I said, anywhere they think they can find words. You could even go for a drive around your neighborhood if it's safe to do so, um, look on street signs, stores, things like that. So the same thing, you would pick probably just a few sight words from the list that you want to do. I picked some pretty common ones, the, and, is. And then have your child look through the book or wherever you're looking and tally how many they find and see who wins. Hope you have fun with this game.